you know, I'm still talking to a lot of schools. I'm still talking to, you know, the science schools, basically. You know, it just depends on if I get any less from any guys I've seen out here, but it's not really in the school. Uh, is it basically the same uh, type of order? I know you didn't really put anybody in any order of importance, but basically the same schools that have been recruiting you the hardest lately? Uh, yeah, you know, um, Kentucky is always going to be there, Arkansas, UConn, Baylor, Memphis, you know, schools that have been there from the start, you know, just to name a few. But, uh, you know, all the schools are going to take me pretty hard. And, you know, uh, obviously my list is still pretty long, but I'm planning it down soon. You feel like you'll be a late signee? You feel like you'll wait all the way up until the end? Yeah, I think I'll definitely wait just because I want to make sure it's the right decision for me, um, you know, as far as education and athletics, and, you know, for my family, because, uh, you know, they want to, it, it depends on if they think it's the right fit for me. And, you know, if it makes them happy, it will make me happy. Take all five visits? Yeah, I'll take all five. Late, 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 late. Kentucky, Kentucky, Baylor, who else did you say? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, Memphis, UConn, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee. I mean, the list is going on. This is an average. It, it, by being late, does that mean late and still sign in November or late maybe wait until the spring? Uh, that means wait until the spring. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. I'm just going to wait to the spring, you know, just to make sure I look at everything I need to look at and make sure I take all my five visits and just take my time. Anybody that you know for sure will get a visit? Uh, you know, I can't really say right now. Probably, if I was to say for sure, like a for sure official, probably in Arkansas, UConn, UConn, and Kentucky so far, they'll probably be doing like three down for sure. Huh? You feel like that you want to try to catch a game that's pretty important to those schools? Is that when you want to take your official visits? Uh, it just depends on my schedule because I'm, I'm a very busy person. So I just have to work around my schedule and just see what they have on those days that I'm going to call. What was it like? A lot of those coaches were here today, Pastner, Calipari, Rick Barnes. You got the breakaway dunk in front of them. How did that feel? Oh, that felt good. You know, um, I like, I, I'm a, I'm not a showboaty type guy, but if I do get a, a flashy move, you know, I, I'm letting you know I did it, you know, so it, it just, it's just a good feeling right there to do that. What do you feel like when you came into this event, what did you want to work on the most? I really wanted to just uh, get back in the groove of things because I haven't been playing. This is my first time in back since my injury uh, a month ago. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure I get back in the groove of things and uh, just get the rest off of it. After playing five games here with your injury, how would you assess your performance? Oh, I think I played pretty well. I played 30 on the number one team in uh, the EYBL. So, you know, with that said, I think I, you know, I played pretty good. And technically speaking, my hands are just 50% uh, well. So it's nearly not even all the way well yet. So I think I could have even done better if I would have had my 100%. But I'm just glad with the way I played with it all. How much is it affecting your shooting? Oh, it's affecting it a lot because uh, it's, it's a part of here that sticks up on the, and it hits the ball every time I shoot. So I have to try to adjust to that when I shoot the ball, which is getting kind of, it's kind of difficult. More but of a finger know, touch, huh? Yeah, so it's more difficult to shoot it with this uh, this little part right here sticking out. What was injured? Did you break your finger? Oh, uh, no, um, I dislocated my wrist in a uh, pango camp. Good luck. Hope you feel better. Good luck, man.